On today's episode, I talk about Stephanie McMahon's future plans and the release of the Cologne Brothers and the possible SummerSlam main event change. Does Brock Lesnar want to continue his feud with Samoa Joe? All this and more right here on the Sunday Night Heat. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sunday Night Heat, the Derby Rumors and News Show, right here on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast. We are live on Spreaker at Spreaker.com slash NHBWP or available on the Spreaker app on all Android and Apple devices. When it is finished, this episode is posted on Spreaker on our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash NHBWR iTunes and Stitcher Radio. You can follow the podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram by searching No Holds Bar WP. Be sure to head over to our YouTube channel as well and Spreaker as well and give us a subscribe and hit that bell icon for all upload updates. I am your host, the self proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters, and let's get right to the news. If I can find that headline music, there it is. That's right. When you know that sound, you know the news is here. And we have uh, just a few articles this week. I was looking through uh, a lot of the the news and rumors out of this week, and a lot of it was already uh, made too obvious and shown on both Raw and SmackDown this week and announced. So I picked a few that were, uh, you know, a little bit hidden. I guess you might know about it, you might not, but uh, I want to discuss it regardless if you do know about it or not. And, uh, yeah, Sunday Night Heat, guys. Um, I wanted to do it on YouTube Live for some... I don't know what's going on. I can't get it to connect to YouTube Live and, and do it live. I still got to figure something out. But uh, eventually, <laughs> whenever, I'm not sure when it's going to happen, it'll be on a YouTube Live exclusive. So, for now, we'll always do it on Spreaker Live. And I never threw out a notification that I was going to do this today. I actually didn't know if I was actually going to. Um, I had a couple of things to do, and it was a crazy night last night at work. So... I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it done today, but yes, I have it done for you guys. I can do it really quickly today. So we only got six articles, so let's just jump right into it. And we'll start off with the first article, and it has something to do with Stephanie McMahon. Yes, her possible uh, future plans were uh, a little bit leaked this week. And uh, take it with a grain of salt. Greg's in the chat. What's going on, Greg? Um... So let's jump into the first article. Stephanie McMahon was recently named Adweek's list of the most powerful women in sports. This is a list that celebs or that celebrates some of the women that have most influence in the sports today. The great accomplishment for Steph McMahon and WWE in general. Approxes Scott Heisel, I think I'm saying that right, noticed a big potential hint in the recent profile of Steph McMahon that could tell us more about an up, the upcoming May Young Classic. So for all of you that don't know, the Mae Young Classic is the WWE Women's Tournament that's happening this summer. And apparently it's already underway, I heard, so we'll have to see. Uh, Heisel noticed a diff, a big difference in Stephanie McMahon's profile in the online version of the article from Adweeks and the version that was made print. Something that was removed from the online version of the article that had to do with the Mae Young Classic and the potential prize of the Mae Young Classic. Here's what it said in the printed copy. And so this has to do with Stephanie McMahon. This is, this is uh, word for word what it said. She also created the first ever WWE Women's Tournament taking place this summer with a championship belt every bit as spectacular as the men's prize. So that's interesting right there. Uh, apparently it's, it's leaked that the, the winner of the Mae Young Classic is going to win a belt. So another woman's belt on the way potentially. So the rest of this article goes uh, such as this. Uh, the fact that it is an online version and but made the print copy could indicate that WWE asked them to remove the potential spoiler. This could mean a couple of things. If it is a printed by mistake, or the first idea would be that WWE will be creating a new title belt for the Mae Young Classic. This would be similar to what happened at the Cruiserweight Classic, where the WWE Cruiserweight title was created for the winner. It could also mean that the winner of the Mae Young Classic will earn themselves a chance at an NXT Women's Title match. So that's interesting to see. So uh, a leaked uh, printed copy 
uh, of of Stephanie McMahon's profile saying that she created the women's tournament and that there will be a title belt prize for the winner. So a potential spoiler leak right there. And if they do it, it's you kind of think, like, where are they going to put it? Are they going to do a minor title for the women's division? Like, are they finally going to get a minor title? I, I, what's going to happen? Is it going to go to NXT? Is NXT going to have the NXT women's title and then the uh, minor women's title? So who knows what's going to happen? Or maybe it's just going to be a belt for that specific tournament. We don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm sure we'll we'll uh, get more hints uh, as the weeks come in as the tournament goes along. So um, I don't know. I, I I feel like they don't need another uh, belt. I, I mean, a minor title would be cool. But me and Corporate Cappy have said in the past that uh, the women's division could use a tag team title if they if they brought up enough women and had enough women in the division on um, both Raw and SmackDown, they could benefit probably from a tag team title. You know, who knows? And the first ever Raw women's tag team title or SmackDown tag team title uh, sounds pretty good. So, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, we're just going to move on. Next bit of news, uh, the Colognes. Yes, the Cologne brothers are asking for their WWE release. Interesting. So, the Colognes, Primo and Epico, have had an interesting run with the WWE over the past few years. They are competing as the shining stars for a while on the WWE television. Yes, the cringy stars last year. Uh, after the Superstar shakeup, they reverted back to their old gimmick as the Colognes. There's a ton of rumors uh, circling around that the Colognes may have asked for their release from the WWE. Super Luchas is reporting that the Colognes have requested the release from WWE. They also state that they want to work for WWC in Puerto Rico, which is owned by their family. More fuel to the now more fuel to the fire was Pro Wrestling Tees tweeting out a photo of some Orlando Cologne shirts, which is the real name of the of Epico. So, uh, interesting. So maybe it, when, a, when a shirt like that gets released to Pro Wrestling Tees, that means like it, it's more than likely that they're getting the release or it's actually in the finalizing process. So we'll see what happens. Uh, PW Insider, on the other hand, says the Colognes are booked for WWE live events. And after asking around, they have found no merit to the rumors. So this is an interesting, interesting thing here. So PW Insider is not finding anything. But uh, Pro Wrestling Tees go ahead and printing one of these t-shirts. Uh, adding, I guess it's adding fuel to the fire as it states here. But uh, the Colognes, I mean, what are the Colognes doing right now anyways? Like, the tag team division on SmackDown is not being used properly anyway, so they can't be used. Like They'd be, probably be benefit more on Raw maybe, but it looks like Raw only wants to split their tag team, so... I don't know. I, if I were them, I'd ask for the release, man. If they want to go back to Puerto Rico and wrestle in their own company, I mean, why shouldn't they? Like, they're not really doing anything on WWE TV currently. So, I mean, why not Just get released? Have fun in Puerto Rico. It sucks. I mean, they could have been used in a better way, but it's just it is what it is in today's WWE world. Um, yeah, so that's it for that. Uh, let's get into some more news. Uh, rumored plans for the WWE Women's title at SummerSlam. And I'm talking about the Raw Women's title. Uh, there are some rumors floating around about SummerSlam, and it won't take too many fans of Sasha Banks happy. So, Corporate Cappy won't be happy about this if it turns out to be true. Uh, Dave Meltzer in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter says that Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss could be the plan for SummerSlam based on current storylines. Darby has been building. The tension between Jax and Bliss over the past few weeks on Raw, and it is clear that these two will have a pay-per-view singles match at some point. WWE also made Nia Jax look very strong in her loss this past week in the Raw gauntlet match, lasting until the very end before being defeated by Sasha Banks. So, those are the current rumored plans for the Raw Women's title. It'll be uh, Nia Jax versus... Uh, Alexa Bliss for the women's title, which I kind of like that. Um, changes things up a bit. I'm sure Corporate Cappy might actually like these plans. He really doesn't want to see his two girls face off again if they did it again after Great Balls of Fire. Um, but uh, I, I like that. Um, as for Sasha Banks, I don't know what the heck she's going to do. Maybe they finally do the Bailey versus Sasha Banks. Maybe they finally get Sasha Banks to turn heel on Bailey and we get a, 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 like a grudge match at SummerSlam. It could happen. We'll see what what they have planned. I'm hearing some other things, especially which I I'll get into actually later on in the show. Um, it's part of another article I have here of maybe there are rumored plans for uh, Sasha Banks, and if they are true, I would love to see it happen at SummerSlam, and I'm sure a lot of people would. So we'll get into that when that comes around. Um, 
let's just uh, move on to some other news here. And speaking of SummerSlam, the main event is in possible changing mode, meaning uh, it's uncertain right now. Uh, there's a lot of things coming into play, especially this article right here. And I'm about to read it to you guys. 2017 into... 2017, okay, sorry. 2017 is turning into as big... The, the 20, Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm reading the article completely wrong here, guys. I think I might have erased some of it, too, when I was copying and pasted on uh, my note sheet here. Um, so, SummerSlam 2017 is turning into a big of a show as possible this year. So, WWE is trying to make it a huge show. Uh, as a result, WWE fi- fans should expect to see some big matches at the Barclays Center come August 20th in Brooklyn, New York. Here is a big update on what could potentially be the SummerSlam 2017 main event. According to the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, the main event of SummerSlam was originally scheduled to be Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Universal Championship. These plans have changed to Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at the event for the title. Okay, okay. So as many fans know, and as I, I know, and I we've said in the podcast before, Brock versus Reigns was a long rumor to be a main event of WrestleMania 34 next year. If this report is accurate, it would appear that WWE has fast-tracked it to SummerSlam, which is amazing because I did not want to go to WrestleMania next year in New Orleans just to see that garbage match as the main event. I've already seen that at WrestleMania. Like, I watch it on TV, but we don't want to see that again. Um, it is also rumored that John Cena versus Roman Reigns could now be the WrestleMania 34 headliner if things all go as planned. Now, that's a main event I'd actually be interested to see next year. I'd actually have fun watching that match. Um, as much as I'm not a fan of, a Ro- of Roman Reigns, I'd love to see Roman Reigns and John Cena. It's a match that everybody wants to see happen. Michael Hayes wants it to happen. It, 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 it's it's got to happen. Roman Reigns is basically the next Cena. Cena is that guy. It's basically like Rock and Cena. I don't know if they do a whole year build for it i think maybe like half a year maybe they could start at survivor series or whatnot but i think they could do a really good thing with that so i'm hoping that actually comes to fruition we actually get john cena versus roman reigns next year but it looks like we're gonna get brock lesnar versus roman Re- uh versus roman reigns for the universal title as we saw roman reigns's big announcement was that he's going to face the universal champion at SummerSlam. um now some interesting things out of this and it actually got released yesterday Brock Lesnar actually wants the feud with Samoa Joe to last until SummerSlam. So he wants it to go into SummerSlam. So he wants to face Samoa Joe again at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship. Now, if they do that, I think that's just going to scratch the plans again. And they're going to revert back to Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar at uh, WrestleMania. Unless they save that for another big pay-per-view. You still got Survivor Series. You still got Royal Rumble. I'd love to see that either or. Um... But if they if Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar were to move uh, to all the way to SummerSlam and continue at SummerSlam, I'd actually be happy with that. That'd be a crazy main event. Um, they could do like a, a soft ending at the Great Balls of Fire, and they can have the uh, better rematch at SummerSlam. I and mean, you're trying to make it a big pay per view, but it's what Brock Lesnar wants, man. And, and seeing what Brock Lesnar does in the WWE and, he, and basically what he gets, I, I wouldn't doubt if he gets his wishes here. I wouldn't doubt if Vince actually listened to him and they, and they made it happen. So um, we'll see. And it's awesome. I love that Brock Lesnar sees the work that Samoa Joe is putting into this, and and sees how much of a a good feud it is feuding with Samoa Joe. So I, I love that. If this is true, and this is what Brock Lesnar saying. I love that. Um, I can go with that. I can actually love to see Samoa Joe and Lesnar at, at SummerSlam instead of <laughs> Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess it's all going to play out at uh, great balls of fire. We'll see what happens in uh, leading into that match. So SummerSlam main events is all, all up in the air right now. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, Next article here, rumor on Cena's next feud. It was rumored last month that John Cena could be feuding with WWE Champion Jinder Mahal upon his return to SmackDown Live this coming Tuesday. This made sense considering the dynamics of their characters. Cena plays the role of an American patriot and Jinder is using an anti-American gimmick. WWE has chosen to continue the feud between Jinder and Randy Orton. They will face off in a Punjabi prison match for the WWE Championship at Battleground. So who will be seen to be facing upon his return? Dave Meltzer of the latest on the latest Wrestling Observer Radio says that John Cena could be feuding with Rusev upon his return. So we're getting another John Cena and Rusev feud. Seriously, 
Rusev is ready to return, but there to be creative has nothing for him from the past couple of weeks. As we saw, there's been uh, held back holdbacks for uh, Rusev's return to the WWE. Uh, to me, John Cena and Rusev, I don't want to see that again. We saw that leading. That's a that was a WrestleMania build. They had the WrestleMania match. They did a whole thing with that. I really don't think we need to see that again. I really don't want to see Rusev and John Cena again in another feud leading all the way into Battleground. I think there's something better they could do with John Cena. Um, I mean, you got so many people on the roster right now that are not doing like anything. You can do, I don't know, John Cena and Baron Corbin. Or you can do John Cena and Nakamura. Or you can do John Cena and AJ Styles again. People love to see that. Um I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with John Cena coming back. But if they're going with Rusev, I just hope that it's good. I mean, we already seen it before. It's going to be like a rinse and repeat thing. I don't want it to be boring. If they're going to keep doing John Cena and Rusev, please give me something different and, and make it more intense. Make us interested in it. So we'll have to see what happens when John Cena comes back this Tuesday. Well, and we'll, I guess we'll have to find out what the hell this whole free agent John Cena means. Um and I guess, it, I mean, we know what it means. It means it's going to be on Raw and SmackDown, but maybe they'll get more information out of it. Um, so, yeah. So, into the last article today, guys. Triple H is teasing Asuka's future. When is Asuka getting called up to the Derby main roster? This is a common question that a lot of Derby fans have. There's simply nothing left for her to accomplish in NXT. She has defeated just about everybody and has broken numerous records. Triple H had a very interesting post on Twitter that teased her future on the WWE main roster. It all began when Asuka po- was posing for a photo with Sasha Banks and Bailey fighting over the NXT Championship. Triple H responded with a tease that many fans think Asuka could be heading to the Raw brand when she finally gets called up. Sasha Banks versus Asuka is a headlining match that needs to happen. It has never happened before and is likely a high on WWE fans list for matches that they want to see. Now, could you imagine we get that at SummerSlam? Sasha Banks versus Asuka? Could you imagine that? And for some reason that the NXT title gets put on the line and Sasha has a chance to win it again? I, I think that'd be cool, man. I think it'd be really awesome if they did, even if it wasn't for the NXT title. Asuka versus Sasha Banks is a must match. I don't know if they're going to save for maybe Mania next year or what, but if they're not, SummerSlam is the place to do it, I think. So I would love to see that. And that's a, a great feud for Sasha Banks to go into uh, SummerSlam if they're going to go the Alexa Bliss Nia Jax route. As for Bailey and the others, who knows, man? The Raw division is such a mix-up. We're never going to get everyone included into a feud on, like, SmackDown. So, we'll see. Um, Sasha versus Asuka would be insane. I would love to see that at SummerSlam. That could be, like, a co-main event almost, man. That'd be above probably the Raw Women's title, which is sad. But that it's a, it's a match we have to see. We never got to see Asuka versus Sasha at NXT, and it's going to happen. Um, so maybe, maybe it's a slight tease by Triple H. Maybe we're going to get uh, Oscar on the main roster. And if they do, I think Sasha Banks would be a perfect fit for her first feud. And maybe, I don't know, man. Do you continue Oscar's streak going forward after that? That would be insane. Yeah, Greg, it would be a fun match, he says in the chat. Um, I'd love to see that. So we'll see what happens. Um, as for that, guys, I don't have any more news articles. I don't think there's there's probably some that have been released today. I mean, I can quickly look on Twitter right now. But, um that's all I got written down. I was pretty tired last night. Um, let me just quickly look for you guys. But yeah, Asuka, Sasha Banks, God, that'd be amazing. I'm sure Corporate Cappy would love that too. He, he can't not like that, man. I, I'm sure he'd be awesome. Okay, so we got an article here on a rumor on a possible change to 205 Live. So we got some a breaking rumor here. Um, okay, here we go. Ryan Satin on the most recent episode of the Sheet Podcast. So go check out Ryan Satin. He actually has a good podcast says that he has learned from sources that Derby is discussing adding a an authority figure to 205 Live. Oh, well, that's cool. This would likely be a general manager or something similar to what we see on Raw or SmackDown Live with Daniel Bryan and Kurt Angle. It is unclear at the moment who would fit this role, but it would be something different for the show. 205 Live at the moment is lacking a bit of direction, and this could be a way for the matches to feel like they mean something. We will have to wait and see if this comes to fruition. Good to hear Derby is thinking about things to help the show moving forward. That'd be interesting. Could you imagine an authority figure on 205 Live? Okay, okay. That's I guess that's a way to shake things up. Again, it's not going to help the time slot. And you're not going to ha- help people stay and watch. Uh, I mean, maybe it's a way to draw people to stay after SmackDown. I guess, I don't know, that's something. Um, 
But an authority figure, um, if I can think of anything, I think if they're if uh, what's his name? Oh, sorry, Os- or Oscar, Austin Aries. If his injury is legitimate and he can't wrestle a lot right now, I think he'd be a perfect authority figure uh, for 205 Live. Or maybe they bring back a former cruiserweight from the past and he's an authority figure. But that'd be cool. If they are adding one, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, shake things up a bit on 205 Live. It's getting pretty stale. So um, if they think uh, someone someone on this article said, let it be Kane. That'd be hilarious. Corporate Kane as the <laughs> cruiserweight director of authority. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Um yeah, but that'd be cool. Uh, if they're uh, if they're gonna go with the authority figure again, Austin Aries is the only one that comes to mind for me. Or they do a former cruiserweight, maybe they bring back Billy Kidman or something. I don't know. I can't really uh, can't really think of too many other people where it could be. So uh, we'll see. Uh, as for that, that's it for the news. It looks like there's not really much. As I me looking last night and adding it to today. So. That's going to do it, guys, for the Sunday Night Heat, I believe. So, yeah, I'm going to get some more episodes for the 2K17 World Cup Tournament. So, look out for that. Um, in the works, I'm, I'm half done doing the Blast from the Past Episode 2, which is no way out. So, that will be coming out soon as well. So, stay tuned for all that, guys. But that is going to do it today for the Sunday Night Heat, the WB News and Rumor Show, right here on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast. We are live on Spreaker at Spreaker.com slash NHBWP or available on the Spreaker app on all Android and Apple devices. When it is finished, the episode is posted on Spreaker and on our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash NHBWR, iTunes, and Stitcher Radio. You can follow the podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram by searching up No Holds Barred at WP. Be sure to head over to our YouTube and Spreaker channels as well. Give us a subscribe. Hit that bell icon for all updates. They are uh, upload updates. I'm your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters. See you next time. <laughs>